Good evening, everyone. I think we are live. It is Wednesday evening, the May 13th. Hope you guys are having a great day, and uh, hopefully we got our tripod and our camera <laughs> situation so Vicky doesn't have to uh, play catcher. <laughs> so it looks like it's pretty solid. Anyway, uh, as soon as you guys start coming in, let us Andy know what Littleton, the... Keith Davenport. Hey, guys. Let us know what the sound and the Again. picture is like. Uh, we've been having pretty good luck lately, so let's hope it holds up. Hi, Tessa. We're doing a speed test on our phone on a regular basis, and it seems to be working pretty well. So, a couple things I want to go over today. First of all, let us know how you guys are. Hope everything's going well, and uh, little by little, I hope the countries uh, around the world are getting back to normal. Looking sounds good. Excellent. Glad to hear. Hi, Pam. So we have a couple things I want to go over tonight. One little demo. Well, it's actually, I've already done the demo, but I want to show you guys how I did it, basically. And uh, a couple, yeah, and then one other question. That's, James uh, Neal said, Missouri here, great on both. Sounded pictures good. Excellent. Good, good, good. And I hope everybody is staying safe and things are getting back to normal. I know I... We're... Here, Back to normal. I'm yeah. We drove to town today, and the restaurants are opening up. And even though they're distancing, and you know, being being smart about it, uh, maybe fifty percent capacity for now. Uh, at least that some normalcy is getting back. At least here in Arizona or in northern Arizona. I don't know Phoenix. I don't know. We don't. Some of the countries uh, extending it another three months. With some of the uh, the states. States. Some some, some of the countries. Yeah. Yeah, depending on where they're at, I guess. I guess it makes sense uh, depending on to where somebody. you're at. Yeah, we are we tend to be somewhat isolated anyway. So. Keith anyway. Costa. Hey, Keith. Hey, Keith. How are you, man? Tex Ferugia. For, 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 for Gru Ferugia. Yeah. Tex, yeah, I know who Tex is. Hey, Tex. Uh, all right, so let's get into the questions. I've got, uh, first question I've got. Uh, is this a brand new guy? And I think it might be valuable for you guys. Who? Oh, so we've got this question is from Roger. Roger asks, is there a certain app that you use to print out uh, letters and other types of designs? I'm just getting started. I'd like something easy and any advice uh, would be appreciated. So what we use most of the time, Roger, is we use rapidresizer.com. That allows you to blow things up. You can upload artwork into their server. You can um, did, make them I as big as you want. Yeah, uh, video 210, our video number 210, and video number 235. And uh, we, we really like that rapid resizer. We also use Corel Draw, which we bought a long time ago because we use Corel Draw for. Uh, our lasers for running our lasers and uh, then there's a free software out there that is kind of like Corel draw I've, I've used it a little bit it's called Inkscape a lot of you guys probably know that a lot of you guys are probably were uh, using uh, publisher and you know different things like that so there's a uh, lots of different options out there I like rapid resizer better than Inkscape yeah I do too and there's Hi, also uh, posteriza um, hmm. is is one that we used before we used rapid resizer but I, I like rapid resizer a lot better uh, uh, but somebody but asked a question here rapid resizer does cost uh, minimum minimally uh, and Inkscape is free so. Gary Zellner says Ohio here Eric did you get my return message on the Facebook message I did Gary I just wasn't sure that was you I sent you an email as well so, uh, yes, I did get your, your message, but I was prepping for this. Bob Rose says he loves Corel Draw. Yeah, Corel Draw is really cool, and we use it all the time, but we use it just probably about 10% of what you can all right, do. I'm going to tell you some of the folks that are here uh, Greg Brimer, Brimer Mike, yeah. Mike Kuhn, Thomas Toten, and Ann Cleese. Yep. Said, hey, guys, love your videos. Thank you, Thomas. Mark Boyer. Thanks, guys. Bruce Peter, Justin Hellickson, Glenn Butcher Showalter. I Bob saw his Rose, name today. Larry yeah. Cole, 
Oh, Gary Zellner said it was not me. That wasn't you, Gary. Huh, okay. Sam Ikes. Marcos Contreras. Hello, Vicky and Eric. Been following you for years and finally did my first sign last week. Oh, Working fantastic. On my That's terrific. I'm so glad to hear that. Send me some pictures. All right. Uh, move on to the second question, and this one's a little bit more detailed. Uh, this is from Vince Goley. Um, I think he's in Maryland, if I remember right. He says, I'm trying to copy that diamond background that you did, but because it's rectangle, rectangle shape, I didn't get the 45 degree angle and my router was jumping around. So the diamonds look horrible. I'm a uh, bit of a perfectionist, as we all are, Vince, uh, which is why it takes a long time on projects. So I'm assuming that you do a diamond background uh, requires you to do it in squares. Also, what depth should I do? The first time I tried, I used a profile bit, super shallow and looked really cool. But for the latest sign, I dropped it to eighth of an inch and it wasn't cutting easy. So can you answer this when you get a chance? Uh, so I'm gonna answer it right now. So I went out and honestly, Vance, I never considered doing the diamond background. Michael Scarantino said, hey, Eric from Houston. That's Michelle Scarantino. Oh, Michelle? I'm sorry, Michelle. Michelle. Oh, my gosh. Michelle, how are you? It, it is, is Michelle, Michelle, right? It is. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm sorry, Michelle. Gary Litchfield's watching. We're Joe. doing great, Michelle. Thank you. Kachka. Kachka? Kachka. Greg Bermerson, I got my notification turned on now. That's good. Excellent. So let me show you guys. Um, I did a little test cut. Uh, with the profile bit, I tried to do the diamond pattern with the profile bit, and this is um, this is my standard diamond background pattern. And uh, what Vince was saying is he tried to you do the the diamond pattern in this little area. He tried to do it with the um, the profile bit, and I think that that I, I'm not a fan of it. Um, but I'm sure Vince didn't know exactly how it was doing it. So I use the 90 for this. If you guys want to see these, gosh, I had a paper with a diamond, uh, uh, the videos, and I forgot to bring it Where's up. Where's it Gum it. Huh? Where's it's it? on my desk. It's just right, a little post-it pad. Don't move pad. that board. I'm going to leave this here and okay. keep talking. It's a little post-it pad, and it's got a couple uh, little number of videos on it. So anyway, so I did this on um, Peter Brown sign. I did this uh, diamond background. I also did it on a round sign for uh, Tamar over at 3 by 3 Custom. Uh, those were both collaboration videos that I did. So the way I really do this, guys, I can't move the board right now because Vicky's walked away. But what I use is I use basically just a, a square and I line it up at 45 going from two different directions. So I went 45 going this way and a 45 going this way and then I just make straight lines and the diamond pattern is what is left after you do straight lines from two different directions of 45 degree angles. Thank you babe. So that uh, is video. That Peter Brown video is 295, and that three by three custom is uh, 326. That one was really tricky, 326, because that was a round sign. I did it on one of those rounds, and it, Josh it was, Tolson says hi from Jackson, Missouri. Hey, Josh. So um, what I, I again now that now that Vicky's here, so I literally just drew lines indeterminate, just I don't know, quarter of an inch or so apart like about like that and then drew lines that way and then where those lines cross over that gives me my diamond pattern uh, and let's see Justin wants to know how your high points are on that uh, diamond back background and that's the thing so when I if you look at this real close even though I've got lines on here this probably is a better a better version even though I've got lines on here, I don't really follow those lines. Those are only reference lines for me to go by. So when I'm cutting this, or let's say I'm cutting this line here, and I, I'm moving on, what I want is I want to be close enough that that is down below, that I know that that's going to be down below the surface. That way I know my diamond 
patterns are all down below the surface. So, Mich yeah. Sorry, I'm going to interrupt you. Michelle Scarantino says, it's all good. I've been doing a lot of cutting boards with resin inspired by your amazing work. Oh, fantastic, Michelle. I'd love to see them. Um, anyway, so what I do is I get close enough to the, the previous line that I know I'm going to be down below the surface uh, when it comes to that diamond pattern. And, Thank and you, Nancy. The thing. I said love you guys. <laughs> Nancy? And Lewis Bryan says hi. Everyone. Oh, hey guys. So what I, what I don't like about this, number one, they're so tiny that I don't know whether you're really going to be able to see them. Uh, number two, it's really tough to hold a long straight line with any depth uh, with the, the profile bit where it's not near as uh, critical. If you're, if you're a little squirrely on these lines, it doesn't really matter too much. Your diamonds still come out pretty good. This and then the, down in here, you get a lot of chipping and breaking away and that kind of stuff kind of messes up the pattern. So it's a very, uh, that's the reason I kind of wanted to go over this because a lot of people may not have realized that I, and I've also done this with the 60, but the 90 really is my preference. If I've got the room, if I don't have the room, then I'll drop to the 60 if I'm really tight on room, but I don't think I'd ever do it with the profile bit because I'm just not. I'm not all that crazy about that texture, but that's just me. And the other part is that just this, just this here probably took two times longer than this area here. And you can see it's just a fraction of the size. So definitely you want to go and I'll show you the difference between those two bits uh, in case, again, you're new. This is the profile bit. Let me turn my little light on here. Maybe that'll help. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oops, sorry guys. Did, little, did the wobbly. Okay. That's the profile bit. So that's the one that did this. If you're, if you can see it, that's the one that did this. And this is the 90 degree. That's my standard background bit. And that's the one that did the, the diamond pattern here that I really like. And I really like that diamond pattern. I think I might like that even better than the, the dimple uh, little golf ball pattern look. I really like the way it comes out. And it was, I found out about it just by accident. I was just playing around one day and I came up with it. But uh, really, really like it. So anyway, Vince, I hope that kind of answers the question. Uh, really, the, the fact that your sign was rectangle or square really shouldn't matter. If you have a flat surface, that that, uh, that that square can give you that 45 degree, that 45 pull it, degree pull it back line. You. Yeah. If you've got a, a flat that you can get that 45 degree line, whether it's this kind of square or a regular, uh, you know, a regular carpenter square, either way, if you've got a flat line, it wouldn't matter if it's square or rectangle. Um, Justin it really said works the out diamond well. pattern really makes the sign pop too. It's a great effect for sure. Scott Bur Baranco is watching. Hey, Scott. Perry Sidens or Sidens? S I D D O N. Perry, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, I've talked to Perry many times. Um, Joe Cox says the one on the left without the diamond would give a good bark pattern. Yeah, that's true. This one here, I think, is probably mm -hmm. what he's talking about. Yeah, that's true. But again, it's really... Um, Danny Meadows said nice hat. <laughs> it is a nice hat, isn't it, Danny? I love it. It is uh, my current favorite. Um, anyway, yeah, you're right. The problem with this, though, is that if you spray it and sand it off, you're going to end up with a lot of high spots because it's really tough to get... This is pretty easy to get... Uh, a parallel lines next to each other and have it down below the surface so that when you sand you don't get high spots this is really tough to do because they got to be almost right next to each other and it's really it's very um, time consuming and tedious whereas this goes pretty quick and it's a lot more consistent so anyway that is uh that is it for the questions if you guys have questions regarding that or anything else Shoot them. Let me know. So now I'm going to go into the sign covers of the day. The wind keeps uh, is. Tony Malloy is watching. William Crosby. Oh, we got some new people. Great. 
All right, so let's see. Zach. How, huh? Andy. Andy? Hey, Andy. You guys still coming out this way? Mark Tracy said, any updates on your Chevelle? No, it's still a rust bucket, Mark. It's not a rust bucket. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Bruce Hux. Well, let me... I haven't yeah, heard last his night, name in a long time. Last night you were able to zoom in. Yeah, this one's really cool. I think it was around No Easter. tornadoes. No tornadoes tonight. Yeah, the wind chimes are kind of quiet. I would think that... Uh, Whoops. Whoa, yuck. Ugh. What happened? I turned the camera around. Yuck. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. You turned the camera around. Oh, that's funny. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't either, but apparently you can. <laughs> All right, that's really cool. Hold on, wait, put that back up. Oh. Normally you're telling me to move on. Oh, I like that. It's very nice. Well, yeah, but I turned the camera around, remember? Great, great job, Bruce. Looks just like Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody right. sent us a picture. They turned it into a line drawing. I would. I, I know. I was going to send a message. I, I want to know how that. he did that. Yeah. Um, all right. Tessa. <laughs> Justin she's here. said good things you weren't picking your nose. Yeah, good yeah. thing. So Tessa took the, what is that? Live, laugh, love. Hope, did one. In, oh, faith, hope, love. Oh, faith, hope, love. Sorry. Can't read it backwards. Inset and outset versions. I like it, Tessa. Great job. My Terrific. pigs are sleeping. They are not bacon. Yeah, they're uh, they're snoozing. This is uh, late in the day for them. Bert Graham. Okay, hold on. I Canuck, took off my glasses to clean them. So hold our on. friend from north, from the north. So oh, he that made it worse. He carved oh, he carved the Lord's Prayer. Wow. And it looks like some kind of a panel board. I don't know if it was maybe a piece of flooring, but that's a lot of laminated pieces if you look real close. It almost looks like flooring. Eesh. Great job, Bert. Terrific. Hope you and Sharon are doing okay up there. Yeah, I haven't heard how she's doing. Jeff Callanan. Jeff Sorry, I can't see. I have to clean my glasses. All right. All right, that better? Yeah. Be still and know that I am God. Ooh, I like that. Very nice, Jeff. Scallops on the outside. I like that. Beautiful. For a later day, do you suppose you could show how how to router stars for the wooden flags? It has to be easier way to do it, various sizes if possible. Sure, I we can, can do, do that. that on a regular video. There's no time to do that on a video like Who tonight. asked that? Um, sure, I can do that. James Neal. No, no, N E H O. Yeah, I can do that, James. Uh, Roy Smith. So this is oak. With Can you hold it up? Just to, I'm sorry. With a resin finish. That's gorgeous. And this is a sign for uh, a Habitat for Humanity home, which is really neat. I like the shape, too. Mm -hmm. It's really a cool shape. Oak is not uh, my favorite to carve. Yeah, I know. Sure Frank Jenkins pretty, loves oak. Looks great, though. Terrific job, you guys. Another Mike great... Mike Coon says, where do you find sign carvers of the day? SCO TV on your... Yeah. Um... So go to Facebook. We're on Facebook. Yes, go to uh, Dave Signs. This is probably on Eric Roten, but go over to Dave Signs Facebook and go to Photos and the Photo Albums, and you'll see four different albums that say SCOTDs. I think it's SCOTD one, two, three, and four. And there's at least at least two thousand between two and three thousand pictures on there that are SCOTDs. Justin said, Eric has a great trick for on routing stars. Worked great for me. Uh-oh. I hope I can remember what that I is. I hope so. You might okay. have to ask Justin to show Yeah, you. I might have to ask Justin to refresh my memory. It's been a while since I did some of those. But I will do that. That's a really good idea. I'll, uh, I'll plan uh, a demo on cutting different uh, uh, sizes of stars. Bruce said, oak is, Eric, carving oak is better than carving hickory. Yeah, I would agree with that. I've only carved hickory once, and that was enough for me. Hmm. Sorry. Wait. What? I'm going to get up off. I was still down where you were. Oh, you're up still <laughs> Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, hickory, I think, is really hard, if I remember right. I don't think I enjoyed that too much. I think uh, there was a lot of cussing going on. Uh, well... Not me. Yeah, I don't do, do that. Bad, bad. I don't, that was probably you if there was yeah, right. swearing going on. 
You're a heathen. <laughs> anyway. All right, you guys. Uh, anything else I can answer for you? Hope you guys are doing well. Hope it's I didn't uh, miss any questions. Mi middle of the week. We'll have uh, one more Facebook Live tomorrow night. And, uh, ooh, boy. Hi, Shirley uh, Hall Fleeman. That is a big. Oh, my gosh. That's bumble, a monster. That's a bumblebee, I think. Or it's a tarantula hawk. No, it's not a tarantula hawk. I don't think it's, it's a bumblebee. Yeah, it's a bumblebee. Yeah. Um, anyways. Am I drinking wine? No, drinking not yet. <laughs> uh, Perry Seiden says, many thanks to you guys for all the ideas and information. Very informative and lots of talent. Thank you, Perry. Appreciate that. But yeah, go check out all the sign carvers of the day over on the Facebook. Dave signs uh, photo albums in Facebook. There's just amazing stuff in there. And we'll share some more tomorrow night. Hold on. And then Friday night we'll be doing our regular that. live with Dad. Okay. Is there uh, something else? Justin says, you told me to take cardboard and cut a hole in it in in the case. Hole in it in case the boys bore... Gee, when it's Christmas. Dan Santalacito? Hey, Dan. What the heck? You told me to take cardboard and cut a hole in it in case the boards aren't completely level and place the bit in it where the base stays level. Base stays level. That's your reminder. There's your reminder. Oh. Stop clicking. <laughs> What's That's up, Dan? How are the girls? Hey, Dan. How's your... All your little blonde-haired gals over there. <laughs> um, yeah, I had forgotten about that. That must have been just kind of come out. He well, must I'm, have been winging that. Yeah, Stop clicking. I'm glad Stop it worked. Stop clicking. Am I clicking? You're clicking. Oh, okay. Sorry. He just He's a fidgeter. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. I didn't realize the microphone was picking that up. All right, you guys, that is, uh, I think that is about it. If Unless you have some more questions, we'll get out of here. We'll let you guys get back to your evening, and we will see you guys tomorrow night. So um, tomorrow morning, another, you know what? I want to take a uh, just a, a question from you guys real quick. You guys still like the fact that I'm taking these and about a week later, posting them up on uh, YouTube. So in essence, you're getting videos from us every day. Some of them, uh, a good part of them, are replays on here. Are you guys, uh, you guys still good with that? I just want to make sure. It's not that big a deal I for me. I told him that I don't want to see his face every day. I'm sure you guys don't either. Wow, you're in <laughs> rare form tonight. Hi, Susie. Hey, Susie and Jim. So, if you guys still want to keep seeing those, Shirley let me says, know. we had a lady that clicked your pen during church service. <laughs> still Bruce doing Peter it, said I? yes. Okay. Justin, that's, oh. that's one yes. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm trying to keep up. Hold on. Uh, M Michelle says, thank you all for all you do. I watch, sturdy at, watch and study at work. Still in awe of how you carve. Vicki, I love your resin work. It's Thank at a you, new Michelle. level. Thank you, Michelle. Trying to figure out what I want to do next. I bought some molds. Resin molds. I'm thinking. My brain's are working. I know what I want to do next. I just haven't started it yeah. yet. Yeah. Actually, i got to get back to my bowls. Now that my hand is healed, I can do that. So, my power carving. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. That's it. We will see you guys tomorrow night. If you haven't subscribed yet, if you're seeing this on YouTube, if you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe. Click that little bell icon so you get notified when we post new videos, which is every day, pretty much. Because uh, we have no life. <laughs> yeah, because this is this is kind of what we company. do. Yeah, but I got I haven't fired up the router in a couple of days. Uh, well, I did that little bit, but I just made me realize I need to carve something. So uh, I got something in mind, and I'll be doing that soon. So you guys will see another video tomorrow morning. Friday will be on YouTube Live at this same time, 6 p.m. Saturday, uh, if all goes well, a senior moment with uh, Dad. And then you'll probably see a 
Facebook replay on Sunday over on YouTube. <laughs> Danny Meadows says, Vicky, be easy on my Chevy, buddy. <laughs> Everybody wants you to keep going. They like seeing you your okay. plug every day. Hi, Jimmy. I don't, I don't get it. Your nephew's there. Hey, Jim. So is Susie. Say hi to Susie. Hi, Susie. Uh, Robert Eastern Posey says, yes, that's where I catch up on all the ones I've missed. Good. Uh, Excellent. As Tessa said, I'm sure people that don't have Facebook enjoy it. Shirley Hall Freeman says, company during the pandemic. <laughs> Justin says, try the wave table. Uh, what wave table? Like the ocean wave look? Or like the, or like the, the wave wavy flags? Oh, yeah, Justin, I got to get better with my, yeah. Justin does amazing wavy flags. Here. Yeah, they look really, really cool. Yeah, he meant the ocean table. I've done those. Let's see. Sorry, I didn't realize these. Uh, Shirley Hall Fleeman says she's ready to see you route something. Yeah, I'm ready to route. I'm ready. I uh, have a lot of senior. I uh, have. I'm having a lot of senior moments lately. Love Dave's video. Good. I Lewis Bryan says I watch it. Is it during dialysis? I'm not sure. I watch it dialysis. Maybe why he's getting dialysis. Okay. All right, you guys. That's it. I've said it four times now, so I think this time <laughs> I really mean it. We'll, uh, we love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks, thanks for, for all, all your of, support. Thanks for all of the support and ordering products. It keeps us going, doing what we do, what we love to do. Yeah, so during dialysis. We will keep bringing you guys the videos every day. Um, Sundays will be the only days that we won't be going live. Uh, we'll be going live six days a week on Fridays. That's on YouTube every other day on Facebook, at least until further notice, as long as we keep having the signal and uh, Lord keeps blessing us. So anyway, guys, say have, good night, Gracie. have a great night and we will see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. All right. We'll see. Now it's my fault. <laughs>